sure you guys aren't in it. <laughs> was this camera expensive? Yes. I got like one of those ones that you can use that all right, so we are gonna do a mystery box. What am I going to teach you? Okay, so if you could learn one thing in math or you want that last little chance. Oh, I see one person reading. I haven't even started yet. Yeah, they corrected themselves. Okay, so if you could learn one thing, what do you want to... You know, Hector, I gotta say, my friend, I just really like your enthusiasm over there. What table do you sit at? Oh, well, I think three needs a couple points. Thank you so much. I gave you three points to be precise because you're enthusiastic. Mystery box. What's something that you want to see in math right now? MTW, no, MFTW, Math for the Win, Olivia. Mystery numbers. Okay. I actually really like mystery numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down some clues. Okay. I would like you all to do this as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down I am a double digit. I don't have room, but I'll just, I'll leave a space here. So who can tell me, what did I put at the bottom? Why did I do, what, what do I have happening at the bottom? I've read my first clue. Normally when we see it, all the clues are already given to us, but I'm having to write this on the spot. So what did I do at the bottom? Who can tell me nice and loud, please? Angel. That's right. And the highest the number could ever be is what? What is 99? Because 100 becomes a good. And the lowest the number could be would be what? 10. 10. Because nine becomes a Now it does not make sense for me to write down 10, 11 to all the way to 99. So I'm just gonna kind of keep that in my head that it's between 10 and 99, okay? My tens are even. Okay, again, I have too many choices to put down, but to the side, it won't be 99. So to the side, I am going to put the numbers two, mm -mm, four, six, these are the only options. So my numbers are either in the 20s, the 40s, the 60s, or the 80s. Because that's the only one where the 10s. Now, for those of you that forget, here are your 10s and here are your 1s. Sometimes, instead of 1s, they call it what? There's another word they'll call it. Oh, one digit. No. What are the units? So sometimes you'll see it as a U, okay? I'm not going to check this one off because I, I still don't know yet. Focus. My ones are bigger than tens. Oh, well, in the ones, it can be any number we want as long as it's higher than the tens. Could, could it be 20? No. Why not? Okay. So, could it be 23? Yes. 24? Yes. 25? 26? 21? 
So what I'm gonna do to help myself out is I'm actually gonna put a three here and then dot dot dot. Okay? So it could be 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Okay, now I'm gonna try my 40s. Could it be 40? Yeah. No. 41? No. 45? Yes. 42? No. 47? Yes. 43? No. Yes. 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 No. Why not 43? Oh, yeah. Because it's lower. One more. Uh-huh. Okay, 44? No. So the highest, the lowest, sorry, in the 40s we would go is 45. Could be 45, could be 46, 47, 48, 49. We don't know yet, but I'm gonna put these dot, dot, dots to just kind of remind myself, okay? Going on to the 60s, what is the first option that we have? 67. 67, how do you know? Because it can't be lower than six. Good, correct, so we'll put 67. And then in the 80s, there's really only one choice? 89. So these are our options, okay? My product, what does the word product mean? Multiplied. The answer to multiplication. My product is 14. What does the word product mean? So when two numbers multiply together. So wait a minute. I want to get 14. The only numbers that multiply to make 14 are 1 and 14, 2 and 7, or 7 and 2. So it's 27. I think it's going to be 27, but I'm going to double check. So I need to erase my real estate. Because I don't, I don't have enough room. Because it can be 86. Well, let's find out. So, 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so that one's out. 2 times 4. Okay, 2 times 5. 2 times 6. 12. 2 times 7. 14. Okay, that's one option. 2 times 8 won't be right. 2 times 9 won't be right. Okay, we're gonna do fours. Four times five. 20. Okay, I already know. I'm higher than 14 already. All the other ones are gonna be higher, so it's not gonna be anything in the 40s. Six times seven is 42. I'm already too high. And eight times nine is 72. 27 is your answer. Okay, mystery box, what do you wanna learn? Let me do these ones first and then I'll let you come. Mystery box, what do you want to learn? What are you desiring to learn to learn? Okay, um, how about, how about, how about, um, Eli, what do you want to know? Plus fractions, do you want the denominator the same or different? Yeah, it's pretty simple when they're the same, right? So we're gonna do unlike denominators. Unlike. You said adding? Two thirds plus four fifths. Now, if I'm looking at these, the third pieces are going to be a lot bigger than the five pieces. Well, first we're gonna do this, okay? So I have to make a three line and a five line. I'm trying to find the multiple that they share in common. Focus, buddy, I don't know what happened after language exchange. This is like your shining stuff. You, you're usually with me, so stay focused. I need my multiples of three, let's count them out. Three, 
Why do I stop at 15? Good. So we're going to count our fives. Five. If I'm looking at this three, I know I'm changing both of these to 15. I don't need to worry about that. I already know they're going to be 15. If I'm talking about three, it's one, two, three, four, five jumps. So I need five twos. Ten. So we get 10 over 15. I know I'm going to change this one to 15. It is one, two, three jumps to 15. So I need three fours. Because it was four out of five. You already went today. I can see because you've only got two out of your three left. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add. I'm going to get rid of this. Stay focused. Okay. So I know the size of the group is 15. This is how big it is. When I add 10 and 12, how much do I get? Stay focused. 22. Now, if I'm thinking about this, and I'm thinking about the number 15, I know that I have at least one group of 15. Because 22 is bigger than 15, I have at least one group. If I'm at 15, and I want to get to 22, how far away am I? Four. I'm seven away. Who said four, and if so, why did you say that? But remember, we already did one group. So we are at 15, and from 15 to 22, I needed to know how far away I was. Oh, okay. okay, seven out of 15, which is not exactly half, but it's pretty close. All right? All right. Earlier, I showed you where it was like two-fourths of 16, and then you had to figure out how much that was worth. You're going to do that. And your goal, we used to do this a lot when I was a kid, is to get around the world. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to have flashcards. I'm going to put it here. So I'll have it up like so. And then when it's time, it will go here. And the first person to call out the answer gets it. Now, that doesn't mean I want all of you calling out the answer. It's going to be against two people. So who wants to start? Jaden, who are you going to start behind? Jude. Okay, so he's going to stand behind you, Jude. You don't have to do anything but sit down. You're his challenger. So you're going to go stand behind Jude. We're going to practice first. This one does not count. So here is how it goes. You ready? And actually, I might just put it on freeze because that's easier. Okay, let me see if I can do that. Freeze. Okay, don't look at my paper yet. You're going to be looking here at the board. Okay. Yeah, I did that on purpose. Okay. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show it to you, and the person who calls it first... Wait, why is it not working? Okay. Yeah. Who's got the answer? 16. 16 would be right. Jude would pop up, and Jaden would take his seat. Do you got it? Yeah, I know. Good luck. I know. That's what makes it so fun. Okay, you ready, Jude? You'll get it. You'll get it. All right, Jude. Daniel, next. That's your next input. Yeah, no, he, you just stay sitting. We'll stand behind him. You ready? Okay. All right. videos. I know that's not always the easiest thing to do, but if you want to see more, you can click over here to check them out. And it's totally okay because it's called binge watching and we all do it. So enjoy.